थैंक यू सो मच फॉर अलाउंग मी टू शेयर माई म्यूजिक विथ यू टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आफ्टरनून रागा दैट इज कॉल वृंदावनी सारंग सो वील फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विथ सम बेजिक थियोरी ऑफ सारंग एंड इट्स रिलेटेड रागा एंड टूडे अवर कंसर्न विल बी वॉट इज द वे ऑफ प्लेइंग द रागा वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट वी यूज इन द रागा एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अलंकार प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर रागा the purpose of that playing raga is to certainly create that particular mood okay that is the definition of the raga ranjayati iti raga that means you want to create a certain mood through that raga that's why you are playing it okay so how is it possible to create a certain mood you should have the certain fixed ingredient notes okay so that's why you will find every raga has a fixed notes like pupali has a sare ga pa dha only here we have sare ma pa ni yaman has a ni re ga ma dhani sa and all these things so by fixing the notes we are trying to fixing it mood but yet we are in a improvisation mode we are not going to play the same thing every time we are going to improvise them but with the keeping that notes in the limit so vadi swar is a re that means your focus will be on playing or your focus of your uh, all the improvisation will be towards re whatever you will play you try to come and land on the re suppose ni sa re ma re pa ma re this is called vadis these numbers are showing the pattern rule of the alankar example take the third one 1 2 3 right mm -hmm. so 1 2 3 means now go for the ascending and you take pa as a one as a, if the pa is one what is the second note and the third note from there so if the pa is one then second is a ni and third is a sa so pa ni sa mm -hmm. this is the first phrase mm -hmm. now once you have executed your rule from one note let's say pa now it's time for ni the second note to be one okay so now ni will become one from there you apply the same rule one two three so what will be the output ni is a one ni sa re this is the second phrase of the dalankar fine then don't do not look at the end of your phrase because it it may take you to re or some other notes you should be knowing which was the one in your phrase because next to that note will become one so in the ni ni phrase ni sa re don't look at ni just remember ni was the one which we applied to rule so now just from the next to ni you go that is a sa that you can take as a one so sa is a one one two three would be sa re ma because we don't have ga in this raga fine then move next is a re as a one so from there it will be re ma pa will be ma pa ni pa ni sa this is what going to happen i will be playing ma pa ni and the next phrase will be pa ni sa now just look at at this point okay the ni is being followed with followed by pa that means this note is a down to ni and that will make this ni komal not sudh okay so this will be the scenario so in the first look it seems that ma pa ni is ascending phrase ni should be sudh but actually not because their ni is going to followed by pa when you are going to play the second phrase okay so it is ma pa ni pa ni sa in this second phrase there is a ni also see this ni this can be sudh this must be sudh because there it is followed by its higher note sa so this will be sudh but this ma pa ni this ni will be komal okay this is what we need to understand when you are playing alankar and this how it will help you when you will be playing the raga that's why this alankar practice is very important not only for the speed but to understand the characteristics of ni when you are actually playing some practical things in the most of the time when we are playing khatka we are suppose i want to play the khatka of sa 
then most chronology is most of the time you start with the note which is higher than your main note re the main note sa the down note ni and again the main note sa so re sa ni sa sa suppose i want to play the khatka of ni okay so in this characteristic it will be higher note sa then uh, lower note the main note ni then down note pa and then again ni so sa ni pa ni it will be like ni but again it's not always that khatka you will have this chronology only so i can play the khatka of sa with this also ni sa ni sa this is also khatka of sa without using re okay so any any sound which is you are making very quickly using uh, or two three notes present over there that is called khatka ni sa ni pa remain comal because you are going down first knee is komal because you are going pa and second knee is sudh because you are staying on that you are not it's a neutral position okay mm. 